Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here. Red for short. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration. And this is about detours. It is often wisest in life to get to your destination by way of a detour. It is especially so when we are working with people. Some people go ramstram like a bull at a gate at anything they undertake. And it can be a big mistake. <laughs> I like that because it rhymes. <laughs> and I'm a poet. <laughs> this is the way that trouble often arises in churches. It is often quite obvious that something needs to be done. But in churches, there is almost always a kind of inertia which likes to stick to the old ways. Well then, if a leader wishes something done, or if he wishes a change to be made, time and time again, his best course is not direct and violent action. It is to sow an idea in the minds of his people and to wait with patience until that, that idea germinates and blossoms. And then in the end, people will come to think that they thought of that idea themselves and they will accept it eagerly when they would have opposed it if it had been pushed down their throats. The detour of patience will often get a leader his own way when direct action will simply put what he wants further away than ever. This is something like, hmm, it seems kind of, um, deceptive. But anyways, <sighs> London taxi drivers, I have often, I have been told, have to pass a very strict police examination to make sure that they know the, sh the shortest way between two points in the city. One candidate had studied the maps until he knew them by heart. In his the examination, he was asked the quickest way from one place to another. He gave it according to the map. He was failed because the route he indicated was the quickest all right, but it would have involved driving the taxi down a lengthy flight of steps and through a lane too narrow for a bicycle. Why was that on the map? <laughs> Why? Why was that on the map? <sighs> what we ought to, to look for in life is not the quickest and shortest way, but the best way. And the best way to get things done very often involves the patience necessary to make a detour and to follow a diversion. The best qualification for leadership is a very rare combination of qualities. It is enthusiasm plus patience. The man who has both of these will certainly get, or woman, will certainly get things done and done with goodwill. This is a good one, though. I mean, I feel like that last part is like a detour. I'm thinking of like when you have a problem and I, I do have a situation right now and he's talking about detours and it's kind of like when people say think outside the box and um, I, I actually feel like this is speaking to me. So that's good. Because I'm hoping to um, I'm, I'm praying and asking God for guidance right now. So don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too. Don't forget to pray for red because red is praying for you. Bye.